And hello viewers, welcome to another Destiny 2 video. This time I'm going to do something that I've never done before and hopefully it will turn out okay, which is to solo one of the quest missions. And I'm not actually a great player. If you ever see me playing in game, I'm not anything good. I'm average. Usually I had a lot of helps in order to reach where I am. So since the Warmind DLC is dropped, I've spent quite a lot of time trying to grind for things, but the progression curve is very steep. So right now, I have just reached a stage where I can finish off the last step of the quest in order to get one of the most beloved exotics in D1, which is the Sleeper Simulant. And this last step requires me to fight the last boss, spoiler alert, the last boss of the Warmind DLC, which is to replay the Will of the Thousands with an Akelos weapon equipped. Now, the Akelos weapon equipped is this hand cannon. Uh, personally, I'm not really a great player when it comes to hand cannons. I'm not really used to it, so this is going to be a bit of a challenge. And I'm currently equipping every single thing that I can get everywhere else that will boost me to the highest light level. I'm not sure how well this is going to play. I might not even <laughs> be able to finish it, but to hell with it. Let's give it a try, shall we? So this is going to be a new... Now, um, I have actually played through the Warmind DLC and I have recorded the playthrough. Now, there are only four videos in those um, for the Warmind DLC. Uh, however, because I recorded them whilst I had a serious fever, I had no voice. Uh, so the commentary was a little bit sucky. I'm not sure whether I should be doing the YouTube video upload. There could be like crazy amounts of editing in order to make them watchable. Um, and that's not really entertaining. So I, I might have to skip those ones, but um, it is a bit of a shame. However, um, I get a, I, I'll need to revise them. I'll need to have a look. Um, it's, but I did do those videos when I was severely ill um hmm. it's actually a mystery how i got through those videos <laughs> but anyway um this mission this mission is really fun and i really look forward to playing it again so this is going to be giant interesting hive creature attacking rasputin it's a high worm god he's called zol and he's going to tear apart rasputin unless we act fast what can we do head to the power station i've got a plan to take him down but i need your help so the Warmind DLC has uh, provided quite a few things for you to grind for. Now, this barrel that I'm currently on uh, requires a bit of a grind too. Uh, obviously because I've got the sparrow, I've also got the sword and none of this will make sense if you you know, just start a destiny. But I get a sense that whoever's watching my video, um, you most likely are a hardcore player slash grinder in destiny universe as well, so I hope you know exactly what I'm talking about anyway. So as of uh, this video was recorded, um, what's the date today? I can't remember. Uh, I need to double check in a bit, but it's Thursday. It's Thursday. Does that, does that mean anything to you guys? No, of course it doesn't. <laughs> I'm going to double check. Right, Thursday, 17th of May. Okay, 17th of May. So the Warmind DLC has dropped for a while and Usually I'm really good at grinding stuff, but um, given that I these days I'm finding very difficult to find the time to play stuff. A 360 though, from 335 to 360, that that's some serious progression lock they've placed. Uh, and also it doesn't make sense to me that the heroic strike are now like almost like nightfall, how nightfall should have been, but still the heroic strikes only grant you Ingrams of the same power level, just a little bit, it's not the same power level, uh, so the milestones for the heroic strikes you need to do three of, and that's three long strikes that you have to do, and yet you get the same reward as if you played a 270 light level nightfall, it doesn't make sense, um, so those are the milestones I still haven't, um, I haven't even touched. Joel's exoskeleton is pretty tough, we're going to need the Valkyrie. A special javelin that's part of Rasputin's neural network. Oh, I remember. Oh, I remember. We'll be able to overcharge the Valkyrie and do some serious Crap, damage. I remember this. How? Okay. Well, first we've got to overload the core. 
Okay, let's just uh, let's just utilize the hand cannon because I don't want to use the auto rifle all the way. That's going to be a boring video. Right. All right, let's get it. Oh, it's glorious. Let that be fireworks, baby. Whoa, 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 whoa. Excuse me. Yeah, I don't remember this part. I remember tethering. I don't remember th this part. I was probably really, really off when I was playing this. Hmm. Uh, yeah, on the last mission as well, when I first played the DLC, I died, man. I died a lot. Uh, I, I was playing solo. Most of the, uh, all the DLCs, I always play solo because that's uh, that's one way to drag it out a little bit. The DLCs and Destinies, they're usually short, uh, which this one is no exception. It's a sad thing to admit, but it is. Uh, it is what it is. It is the fact. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, I have to shoot it from the other side. Okay, so, but this last boss for the DLC, it, I think, is extremely good. Am I missing something here? Again, I'm supposed to interact with these things. No, I'm supposed to shoot the core, right? That's odd. Overload the... Oh, yeah, I am supposed to shoot this, but how do I... This guy here? Ah, right, okay, vent inhibitor. Here we go. So you open the vent and then you shoot inside. Yeah, this took me a while, and evidently it took me a while again. Net inhibitor offline. Core power levels rising. Continued fluctuations will result in a critical failure. All personnel are advised to initiate safety protocols. Remember, a safe work environment is a happy work environment. Ooh. Oh man, oh, I thought I was going to stab it. I wasted that. Okay, fun fact, there is a hidden fence up here. Uh, there is a sleeper node in there along with, I think, one of those data cache things. Uh, so uh, again, if you, go on in, if you go on the internet, you'll probably find a guide, like 20 of them on YouTube. Um, I'm not obviously not going to show you what's inside. I'm just going to show you that there is a secret vent. Um, but there are also secret vents in D1 throughout. Uh, some of them uh, are actually related to Cade's stories. There's a secret vent somewhere in one of the strikes that relates to Cade's secret stash. Uh, so it's like one of the Easter eggs. There's no ex there's no special weapons or anything inside. Uh, okay, investigate the neural node. Oh no. With the inhibitor offline, the neural network is going crazy. I'll try to stabilize it. Defend the area. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay, rule number one. Let, the, let them come to you. There is no need to rush. Eventually, they will all join up and they'll just walk towards your tether. Doesn't work all the time, but it works most of the time. Now, the, the weapon choices I have are quite limited for this mission because I have to have the Ikelos hand cannon equipped. Now, as of the time of this video, I haven't yet received any other Ikelos weapons, so you're supposed to be able to grind. Whoa, okay. You're supposed to be able to grind for, um, like, some of the weapons through the escalation protocol, but man, that thing is difficult. So, uh, the only thing that I do have is this hand cannon, which is, to its credit, not bad. It does have a lot of interesting PvE perks, and. I think they did a really wonderful job in making the escalation protocols and stuff, and it is really fun to play, however, it is solid, as in there's no way I can grind uh, in escalation protocol without a proper party. So my choice is limited to an energy hand cannon, and also, can I get this? Is it this is the Valkyrie, yeah, alright here we go.
Right, that should be it. Excellent. Hmm. Let's overload this as well. And we're good to go. Core power levels approaching critical overload. Personnel are recommended to evacuate. Hmm. Yeah, so the weapon choices I have, including this auto rifle, which I got the raid, uh, sorry, got from the raid, and that is the highest light level I have for this weapon, and I also got Darcy. Now, Darcy, <laughs> in one of the very early silly review videos I did, Darcy was crap. There was no other word for it, and the only thing that you would use it for is quite possibly just to maybe play a few rounds of PvP, but because sniper rifles in general across the board was rubbish, so no one used sniper rival, and the... and the buff in the March update, I have to give them credit, they made the sniper rifles actually usable. I mean, I'm doing really good damage with, uh, with Darcy now. Darcy actually feels like what this exotic should be. Alright, let me just uh, try to get a lock on one of these. I know I'm wasting... You know what, I'm, I, I'm not gonna waste it. <clears throat> Unless there is a yellow bar enemy which is totally worthwhile to kill, but if not, then I'm gonna save the sniper rifle. Now, uh, this is gonna be an interesting choice for the boss because... Uh, or you will see. If you haven't completed the campaign yet for the Warmind DLC, I would recommend... Well, I don't know. Um, I don't know whether I'm gonna upload the playthrough that I did for the Warmind DLC. Uh, I may not. Hmm. Uh, so if that's the case, it, you you can choose to watch somewhere else, uh, or just get the game and play it yourself. Uh, that's probably the most preferred way because I, I like you to enjoy gaming as well. Okay, I think we're good here. But yeah, if you haven't seen, um, oh, hang on. Noob! I haven't activated the thingy here. Okay, cool. So yeah, um, uh, where was I? So yeah, if you, ha if you haven't seen it before and you don't want it spoiled, then uh, I would recommend just leaving it, leaving the, the video now. Um, it's time to forge a new Valkyrie. But if you're here just to see how hard I can fail, then yeah, you, you, you should probably just stick around because I, it's going to be hilarious how much I fail. Right, we've got some thralls. We don't have any yellow bar enemies, which is alright, so I'm going to give this a try. And go. Right, as, for, as far as auto rival is concerned, this is actually really nice. Really use the Valkyrie right now. Yeah, uh, the tether is absolutely essential in this area if you're playing on your own. Um, any roaming supers is good, and look at that, Darcy! Look at that go! It's ridiculous. Darcy now with the lock on enabled. So if you uh, once you actually have acquired a target, and if you are can reliably hit the crit spot, it does four times the damage. Four times. That's insane. Right, the original Darcy, when I tested it, did barely, uh, I don't think even twice the damage, it did nothing. So that's why I gave it like like the worst score ever, if I ever actually, you know, given out scores. I don't know what I'll be using as a stand, standard unit of measurements from Porcupine. What would that be, spikes? D two spikes out of ten. Does that make sense? <laughs> Right, so let's overload the core with Valkyrie. Yeah, take it! Complete core meltdown initiated. If you can hear this message, you are too close to the core. The energy readings from the Valkyrie are off the charts. Let's see what Zul thinks of cutting edge Braytech. Okay, so now we need to reclaim the Valkyrie, which has been powered up, but, uh, <laughs> again, spoiler alert. 
I don't see any difference whatsoever. It's just... Uh, it's like a really cool looking lance. Not saying it's bad, just saying that I don't feel any difference. Anyway. Defend Rasputin. I have no idea where I'm supposed to be going with this. Let's go. Oh, wait a minute. I, I don't have my supers. Oh no! Okay, I may have wasted that super, but it was totally worthwhile because I panicked. <laughs> but yeah, Darcy's uh, magazine has now gone up, so you get more. And as far as DPS go, in, ter in rate? I think it's a seriously viable option. I mean, look at that damage, 9,000. Right, so if you fully unload a full Darcy, it'll probably take maybe 15 to 20 seconds. That is more than enough time for any DPS, for more than any DPS cycles in any raid. Uh, most of the time when DPS starts, you get maybe that many seconds anyway once the DPS starts, so uh, this kind of fits in perfectly if you are able to stand still. Not every boss allows you to, um, but yeah, Darcy. If you do have one, then be sure to keep it. It is definitely a new PvE-worthy sniper rifle. I can't believe I'm saying this. Literally can't. <laughs> Okay, so this bit here, I got really confused when I first played, so uh, what will happen is... Spoiler alert! Stuff will happen in this bridge. So, we're gonna go there now. Hey! Here he is. So, when I first played through, I didn't know that I had to jump down, so I actually died on the bridge. Be careful. Right, I... So, guys, I have no idea how well I'm gonna do. I might not be able to even finish this mission because it's supposed to be pretty darn demanding. So yeah, if I can get a lock on, I can actually try maybe to do a damage. 7,000, that's not bad. 7,500, okay, so it is, a, it is actually pretty decent damage right there, 7,000. Um, providing I don't have a lot of light, this is, uh, this is still pretty good. Right, if you could just open your mouth again, please. Say ah. Okay, not bad, not bad. So, uh, Sol, which is this big worm god, has a few attack modes. Now, whenever it ducks into... So this is one of the things he does, he actually chews through the ground. Try to hold on a little longer. And you, you're free to actually online. attack him. But it does so little damage, you might as well not bother. So, and then there's this one here, which he will stand up and, you know, say some stuff, possibly, I don't know. And then you're allowed to crit him right in the eye. But it is very difficult, as you can probably see. Auxiliary so you need to get a lock on. Get to a node and power up the javelin. Not bad. I am actually getting some damage. I'll wait until this one's gone. Let's get to the Valkyrie. Now, for this mission, you need to have your Valkyries. It's absolutely essential. There's no reason not to use it. It does a ton of damage. Oh dear! That's a one-hit kill. Okay. Oh, by the way, did I mention that I wasn't expecting to get it through the first go? Hmm, <clears throat> so 19 minutes in, let's see how many times we need to try this. I may have to do some editing. But yeah, uh, there are several checkpoints for this boss. If you didn't make it on the first round, I think I you need to get his health down Be careful. to a certain degree. And then things kind of kick off and then you get a mini checkpoint somewhere. It's not entirely obvious where, but it is definitely, it is definitely there. Okay, so need to actively use 
the obstacles to make sure that you're not in the direct line of sight and if you are able to crit that's when you should do it but it is pretty darn demanding that's a very very thick health bar but as far as DLC bosses go this one is probably one of the best if not the best I mean it, just in terms of level of epicness this is pretty cool Okay, so, uh, hmm. Now, usually you get enemies around here. So let me just hide behind here, because if it's not in the direct line of sight, I don't think he's going to attack me. There we go. So, yeah. Uh, if you have the Valkyrie, and if you timed it right, it will bring him down. Like just like melt completely but because because we don't have the Valkyrie yet okay 7519 is the highest we can go in terms Gallo of damage so let's go in this and grab this Okay, I think we've done a good level of damage there. So let's start doing some uh, ammo re replenishments. Uh, this is why there are, there are other stuff here. Oh dear. Alright, time to use some tethers. And get this show on the row. Excuse me. Right, I need to find an Akel- oh, I need to use this hand cannon a little bit more. Okay, I'm really hoping that it's not going to appear on this side. Please, please, please. Oh, thank god. That was close. Okay, there's no way I can predict where it's going to appear. So, this is as, um, this is pretty scary whenever it appears. Really? Auxiliary power has been activated. Get to a node and power up the javelin. Right, I may actually need the javelin to stay alive in this case. Keep fighting. Okay, not bad, not bad. Whew, that was close. Okay, so... More... more enemies. So this is gonna be like one of the last rounds, so you need to get as many ammunition as you can. Oh, this is stressful. This is very stressful. Mainly because I don't have enough sniper in order to get the in order to get the kills so I know that it's going to be a matter of relying on the Valkyrie again in order to get that working but oh crap 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 please don't come on this one please oh I am so lucky I am so lucky right I've got five shot left I'm gonna make a count have to make a count. Come on, open your mouth. Good, that's one. Oh, hang on, he's going away. Oh man, really? Okay, this is this is definitely one of the final phases. Now there are no orange bar enemies, so I'm not allowed to get heavy. 
That's BS if you ask me. Although, the ogre is there. Okay, if I can just get the ogre to go down. That will be really good. Because the ogre drops heavy. Yes. Right, the next time he comes up is going to be death. It's going to be death. Yes, got it. Yeah. In your... Uh, there's no face. Well, in, in your no face. Yeah, take it. We make a take pretty it. good team, if I do say so myself. <sighs> well, there you have it, folks. This is the... Um, I don't actually know what power level this is. I think uh, it's definitely a step up from the original campaign mission. But that's the last quest you need in order to get the sleep assimilant. So, obviously, I'm going to skip this now uh, and I shall go straight to get the sleeper simulant because I really like that gun. I can't believe there would be a day in Destiny 2 where I would have to say I really liked how Darcy handled in PvE. That's it, I might as well just jump out the window at this point. <laughs> All right, let's do this. I don't know where I should be. Um, actually, let me double check. Right, so the pursuit is the final collab uh, cal calibration. The final calibration has been completed. Return to Annabrae for more information. Uh, or, I don't know what it is. For more something. Now, before I do, I would like to make sure I have the highest light level stuff equipped. I'm not. It's kind of a. You can call it a bit of a paranoia, but oh no, I can't. Darcy is occupying my exotic slot. Oh no! I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to switch to the second best. Last hope. Can't believe that. Hmm. <clears throat> I could fuse it with my sun shot, but. Well, I could fuse something with my sunship, but I know for a fact that it's just going to push it to 361, so let's hope it's going to drop for me at a slightly Still higher light level. Oh no, it's a 345, it's at a soft cap, but that's good. That's good. That means, uh, let's have a look at this thing. Sleeper Simulant, look at this thing. Featuring Don Roshan. Intrinsic perk that I can't even pronounce. That when, when you can't pronounce something, that's good stuff. All right, that's good. <laughs> Polygonal rifling, flared Macwell, moving target, <laughs> and composite stock. Now this thing is apparently the beast in both PVE and PVP. So I can't wait to actually test it out. See Man, here. this is gonna be awesome. Look at this thing. Lock. Right, I admit, uh, can I be don't a have anything, Nothing to maybe worry this, about, though. the main ingredient, okay, I'm gonna have to give it a try. As the finishing touch of this particular video, I'm going to try the sleeper simulant on something. I've got one shot, I've got one shot in the sleeper, so I'm gonna have to try on something huge. Let's see whether I can find anything, oh wait, wait, banner. Banner, 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 banner. Right, okay. Oh, now we have seven shots. Okay. What should we do? Let's go this way and see whether we can find some guys to hit. Man, really? Nobody? Oh, there we go. You, sir. Come here. Holy cow, two th tw what's 23,000? 23,000? Wow, okay, it's a, it's a little bit of an overkill to use it on Scions, but man, that was good. 
All right, that's the public event, so I'm not going to do that. But thank you very much for watching, and uh, if you like the video, uh, please feel free to hit the like button. The, the like button. If you disliked it, well, there's another button too for that one. Uh, but yeah, if you want to stay tuned to see more silly videos, reviews of Destiny 2 stuff, then uh, be sure to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you very soon.